The following is a presentation of William Patterson University Television. Tonight, our IBS Award nominated show is back, and we've got a good one for you. Doofus Merch and Balloony infiltrate the U.S. Isabel Shaw to find me the perfect side chick. Jimmy Patton goes live from the Grammys after party, plus two WPTV alum are stopping by. It's all happening right now on the season three premiere of Very Late with Vaunt Lee. Come on. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Whether we, no matter where you are, home, work, toilet, uh, your ex's house, side chick's house. I've been told that that's <laughs> the Rotten Tomatoes tells us that's where a lot of people watch. Welcome to Very Late with Vont Leak. I'm Vont Leak, and this is our third and final season of this show on WPTV. And no, it's not because I'm graduating. It's all of my jokes about President Hell Dobler are finally catching up to me. He said he wants to lay me off, and I'm not even one of his employees. He said the budget for this show is too much, which doesn't make any sense because we do this show for free, unless everybody else here knows something that I don't. What is that, Mark Brandt? What is that Versace bag that you have next to you? Uh, we'll talk. <laughs> like I said, I'm Vont Leek, and over there is my sidekick, Isabel. Isabel, hey. Hey. How are you? It's good to see I'm you. Happy New great. Year. Happy New Year. Happy Black History Month. Happy Psych? Black History Month. What? Yeah. Okay. Say it again. See? Happy Black History Month. Thank you. Bow down. All right. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. Any New Year's resolutions? Uh, New Year, same me. Tell your silly little jokes. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> I like it when they're in charge. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. By now, everybody has heard about Republican Congressman George Santos and the web of lies that he's created through the media. Just about an hour ago, we actually got word that he added more to his resume. So far, he's claimed his family's escaped the Holocaust. He lied about his mother surviving 9-11. He said his employees died in the 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting. He alleged that he was a star volleyball player. Says that he was the first black president. He calls himself the seventh co-host of Morning Commute. He says that he's Radio Rebel. Claims that he was at the JFK assassination. Is calling himself a Jeffrey Dahmer victim. Is saying that he did Bridgegate. Started the Me Too movement. Lost Malaysian Flight 370, says that he's the one that killed OJ's girlfriend, and of course says that he won Song of the Year at, Gram at the Grammys. Uh, Valentine's Day is just a few days away, so to everybody out there who's unfaithful, uh, you better get your affairs in order, or you're going to have yourself a Cupid shuffle. <laughs> Isabel wrote that joke. <laughs> down, down, do your dance, do your dance. To the right. You went to now <laughs> kick. Walk now by walking yourself. by yourself. Uh huh. Yep. You're used to that, I'll right? Just Oh, Walking by, by myself. myself. Uh, also for Valentine's Day, I heard Cracker Barrel's holding a contest offering free food for a year to five people who proposed there on Valentine's Day. Oh, uh, who would go to Cracker Barrel? On Valentine's Day? I actually plan to take my girl. Yikes. That's not a bad date. <laughs> the country fried steak. The maple, no, no, no kidding, the maple syrup at, at Cracker Barrel is great. Like maybe, but how's your, how's your stomach feel? After that. Well, do you have a better, where are you going to take your boyfriend for Valentine's Day? Well, first I'm, of all, are you taking your boyfriend somewhere for Valentine's Day? Yeah. Okay, where are you going to take your boyfriend? I'm going to take Senor Johan David Yamosa Alvarez to Chipotle. And how does your stomach like you after? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> talk about IBS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, this story was crazy. A dad was arrested for driving his family off of a cliff in California in a Tesla. Fortunately, the entire family survived. Unfortunately, family dinner is going to be a little awkward tonight. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> uh, last week, the U.S. Uh, shot down a Chinese spy balloon. Well, I guess there goes the, up, the sequel to Up. And, and look, I think we all know who's actually behind the situation. <laughs> Balloni! <laughs> ah, peri da plata, pozo! <laughs> what? What? I just feel like... Because I one-upped your, your impression? <laughs> I feel like my impression was a little bit better. I'm yeah, honest. we'll take a poll. The Super Bowl is this weekend, and the Philadelphia Eagles are facing off against the Kansas City Chiefs. I think it's a little weird that America's biggest sporting event of the year will be a symbol of American freedom fighting against Native Americans. If the Eagles win, they get free coffee at Dunkin' on Monday. And if the Chiefs win, they get their reparations on Monday. <laughs> that wasn't bad. That wasn't risky. All right, it's Black History Month. All right, let me try this one. Ready? You'll like this one. If the Eagles win, they get to go to Disneyland. But if the Chiefs win, they get Disneyland back. 
Nothing? Black History Month, so just <laughs> all bets are off. <laughs> Uh, hey, President Biden gave his State of the Union address this week. One of his biggest accomplishments is creating over 12 million jobs and lowering the unemployment rate. Meanwhile, last week, R William Patterson President Richard Heldobler gave his State of the University address, his biggest accomplishment, causing the unemployment rate. <laughs> I'm coming home. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's, he's watching right now. Willpower. Uh, an organization at Boston <laughs> University called the Students for Reproductive Freedom has installed a Plan B vending machine, making it easier for students to access the emergency contraceptive. Damn it. Looks like I'm need some more Pioneer Express. It's, I'm sorry, babe, the condom broke. Look, let me just go to the vending machine downstairs. Got any quarters? <laughs> any nickels? <laughs> OK. Imagine having to like, oh, damn it. I just, I'll be right back. I got to run downstairs. I just be like, why are you getting a snack at this time? <laughs> yeah, because so he didn't get because he didn't get one before. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm. Last night, not last night, last weekend, legendary quarterback Tom Brady announced that he's finally retiring from the NFL for good. I mean, hopefully he can retire from kissing his son on the lips, though. Look at this, and the feet too. This is like unhumanly kissing your son on the neck. And then there's another one where he's like, they're, he's like caressing his hand or his head. I don't, when is this going to stop? When are you going to stop? What are you talking about? What? what huh? just, when am I going to stop what? Nothing. What were you going to say? Living. What? When are you going to stop living? I'm, are you serious right now? Yeah. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just drop, crazy. drop dead. Talk about that air. Right? <laughs> Can I get a way out? Can I get why a hoya? Hoy why a hoya? Just give me you a hoya. You just died. Bro, just. <laughs> <laughs> what does that <laughs> okay. <imply>? <laughs> you don't get a hoya after death. <laughs> you get a funeral, and luckily, <laughs> maybe that. AMC theaters are introducing a new program offering cheaper seats to people who sit in the front of the theater. Said Rosa Parks, damn. Oof. And finally, we are well into Black History Month. So, Isabel. It's time for a pop quiz, black edition. What? Wait, Here we go. Right first on. question, oh, oh who was okay. the first African-American Major League Baseball player? Oh, uh, Jackie Robinson. Who was the first black woman to win five Grammy Awards in one year? Lauren Hill. Which famous black activist said the quote, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere? Martin Luther King. Who is the, what's the name of the first black woman to serve on the Supreme Court? Easy, Ketanji Brown Jackson. Okay, you did better than I thought, Isabel. I got one more for you, ready? Last question, who founded Black History Month? George Santos. Correct. Hey, good job, Isabel. Hooray. Hey, we have a great show. We're back. We've got so much more show planned. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in a sec. Welcome to another episode of Sidekick Pick Side Chick. I'm your host, Isabel. You know how the game works. It's in the title. Let's meet tonight's lucky contestants. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you all a couple of questions to see if you would be a good match for Vaunt. If I don't like your response or what you look like, you're done. Let's start with contestant number one. Contestant number one, tell us a little about yourself. Well, I'm a senior on the volleyball team. My major is art studio. I love animals and long walks on the beach. Aw, she looks cute, that's nice. Basic bitch. Contestant number one, if you were to take Vaughn on a nice date, where would you take him? Well, I know Vaughn is stressed all the time, so I had to take him somewhere he could relax and wind down. So probably a couple's massage or in a really nice restaurant. And who's paying for that? Well, I totally pay. Um, <coughs> wrong. Let sexism work for you. Contestant number two, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm a Capricorn, one of four siblings, and I have a part-time job. Okay, all right. I feel like I recognize this girl's voice. You are... You're the, you're the chick that's a model, right? Close, but I actually just work at Models. But I promise you I've been saving up some money so I can take care of this handsome cup of café con leche. Ooh. Gross! Contestant number three, tell us about yourself. Man, I don't know. I'm a student. I work here. You know, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Wait a minute, is that a guy? Uh, it's 2023. We don't discriminate. You have to keep your options open. You know how hard it was to get anyone on this show? You should be glad this guy showed up. Now, contestant number three, how old was Vaughn when he had his first kiss? Man, I don't know. What kind of question is that? 
To be honest, he doesn't even look like he's ever had a first kiss. Hey. I don't think some scrawny black kid with a chin strap are really what the chicks are into these days. And no offense. Hey, yo, why don't you take off that hat and show me what's really under there? And how old were you when you had your first kiss? You know kiss? what? I was like two, first of all. Okay. You know, I'd be sure. calling him with beards like this. Yeah, okay. You okay, okay, right. okay. Chin let's strap. let's, let's yeah. settle down, fellas. Contestant number four, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, well, I'm a really big fan of Vaughn's morning show, Morning Commute, mm. and... I'm just so honored to be here. I've watched literally every single one of your episodes. And I just think he's really hilarious. And I'd love to cook your favorite meal, fried chicken with baked mac and cheese. I like where this is going. She's speaking my language. Piss off, suck up. On to our next round of questions. Why? Isabel, she seemed nice. I like girls that can cook. Why does she have to cook for you? You, why can't you cook? You think just because she's a woman, oh she has to be in the God. kitchen? You're never in the kitchen and you're a woman. I never even said that. I just thought that she could. Okay, okay. Contestant number three, would you cook for Vaughn? Why the fuck would I cook for Vaughn? I barely know this guy. What are you going to do for I don't me? even cook for Nothing. myself. You're not going to do a, a damn thing for me. ass man. You're not going to do I anything. I go into the kitchen, I throw shit out in the garbage. Of course. You know what? Of course. Who the hell put this together? He's okay? a takeout ass dude anyway. Okay, okay. Anybody okay. Take okay. This is not what I signed up for. Let's calm down. Where's my money? Let's calm down. On to the final round for our game tonight. You can each have 15 seconds to say something meaningful to Vaughn. Contestant number one, why don't you start? Vaughn, I just want you to know that I think you're a really cool guy, and I think we have a lot in common. If this blossoms into something else, then I have no doubts that our families would love each other. I'm excited and just hope I get chosen. Wow. <laughs> Contestant number one, that sounds really sweet. I mean, I gotta be honest, it feels like we already have some type of connection. Like, we know each other so well. Hmm. Contestant number two. Vaughn, you're a stand-up guy, even though you're sitting down right now. I can cook you dinner no problem. Just let me season that meat. Ooh. And I'd really love to sit on that chair with you and just blow you away because of how hard of a worker I am. Speaking of how hard we are, I have no doubts that if we get together, we'd work through all our problems. All right, contestant number... Just to be clear, I'd like to have sex with you. Oh. In case there was any confusion. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no confusion, just direction. Right. Oh, okay. Well, contestant number three. Um, I don't know. To be honest, Vaughn, you seem like an okay guy. I don't think I like you as much as this crazy chick over here. But uh, I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm here. I thought I'd be getting paid for this. Who told you they you told get me paid? it would be way more than my on campus job pays. So I said, yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, but to tell you the truth, <laughs> this guy doesn't look like he can keep a relationship. Oh, really? He can barely keep a close. It so was this just is really five. all unnecessary. Okay. There were five. And again, okay. Okay. Who okay. is in charge? All right. Because Shush. I need my Shush. money. Shush. Okay, contestant number. Never mind. All the contestants have said their words. And now it's time for me to choose. All right, Isabel. Come on. You know me. Mega Millions. Let's do it, baby. All right, the next side chick is. Contestant number one, Yay! Annie, get up here. Annie? Yeah. Annie. Annie? Hi, Vaughn. How uh, are you? Annie, what are you doing I don't here? Know, Surprise. Issue? Isabel, Annie's my sister. Uh, OK, but she's not. Isabel, and you're not. You, you know I'm adopted. OK, uh, we'll Isabel, be right back uh, with some uh, paternity Isabel, tests. You're this? watching yeah. the morning show. Do mom and dad know about this? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you here? What, what the? No, there's no way. Welcome to Very Late with Vaughn Leak. Season three is here. Are you excited? Yeah. Stop lying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Uh, no, we're excited for season three. I promise this is going to be like the best like era of content you've ever gotten from me. So do us a favor. Follow us at uh, Very Late WPTV on Instagram. So you can keep up with all of this. Uh, now, the Grammys were last weekend and Black Twitter has been going nuts. Uh, from some of the controversial winners to some of the even more controversial outfits. It's, it's nuts. So to help cover it all, please welcome our Grammys correspondent, Jimmy Patton. What's up, Jimmy? Vaughn, you missed it, bro. The Grammys after party was insane. Thank you for having me. Have, well, how the hell did you even get to the Grammys after party, Jimmy? Don't worry about that. Just know it was lit. All of the stars were out. Adele, LL Cool J, Olivia Rodrigo, Bonnie Raitt. Who? Exactly. Also, as someone who has now had dinner with Jay-Z, Take the 500K. Jimmy, what was wrong with Jay-Z? 
he was just talking about Beyonce the whole time. Like, we get it, you've been cheating on her. You don't have to keep reminding us. You don't deserve to be in the presence of Beyonce. It's just Beyonce. Shut the fuck up, Jimmy. Jeez, sorry, all the single ladies, put your hands down. Okay, that was uncalled for. She shouldn't have, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have come for the queen like that. All right, enough, Isabel. Look, Jimmy, it sounds like a fun party, but I want to talk about the actual, uh, the Grammys. Okay, there were a lot of great performances. Which ones were some of your favorite? Oh, Lizzo absolutely killed it. Her performance was amazing. Her performance usually is amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. She sounded great, and she looked great doing it. Uh, uh-huh, okay. I mean, she looked great all night. Did you see her dress? Oh, it's like a buffet, look at that whole meal. I could tear that shit up with some utensils. Uh, and then the pre-show, she looked like a flower patch. My spring has definitely sprung. All right, Jimmy, enough about Lizzo, okay? Tell me some other performances that you liked. Hmm. Lizzo's the only one I really remember, and she's just so beautiful and talented. Jimmy, enough, okay? You're gonna stop talking about my wife like that. Your wife? My wife! She's my wife, Jimmy. You keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Calm, calm, calm down, I'll go Will Smith on you. I, I feel like if that was your wifey, you would have been there to support her, but that, that's just me. Jimmy, I was there in spirit, okay? Yeah, well, I flew in spirit to get here. I joined the Mile High Club. My idol young wolf told me, if it can't be in a cubicle, and it can't be in a studio, it better be on a plane. And when you're done, you yell one thing. You know what that is, Vaughn? What is it, Jimmy? Yeah. Let's move on. All right, there's been a lot of controversy over a lot of categories, specifically album of the year, going to Harry Styles. Do you think Harry deserved it? Absolutely not. You know it's not the same as anyone else's was. I think everyone, everyone knows there's only been one person that deserved that award. A certain person who has changed the landscape of music. Not just the greatest female artist of all time, but the greatest artist of all time, period. Beyonce. What? Hell no. I'm talking about Ice Spice. How is she not nominated? My Ice got spiced. <laughs> Jimmy, she just dropped her EP last month. How has she been nominated? And it wasn't better than Renaissance. We'll agree to disagree. You guys obviously aren't as big of a munch as me. Uh, okay, I think it's time for you to go. Jimmy Patton, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Uh, when we come back, we're talking to WPTV alumni, Schaefer Johnson and Alyssa Figueroa. Stick around. Welcome back to Very Late. Our guests tonight, I'm so excited. There are two Willie P alumni who both served right here for WPTV on the e-board. They're now directing your daily news at News 12 New Jersey. Please welcome back to WPTV, Alyssa Figueroa and Schaefer Johnston. Welcome back to WPTV. This Thank is, you. This is a uh, history. First of all, does it feel weird? Absolutely. Both, neither of you were ever like on. You were kind of on camera a little bit, right? For the charts. Yeah, charts. No, not charts. Uh, press start. Press start. Yes, old, yes, 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 shows, yes. Yeah. And you were never on camera. No, this is this is a first. And I've always talked. Justice and I always used to talk to you about getting you on camera, and it took you yeah. graduating for it to finally happen. Yep. Um, <laughs> let's give a little context for people in the room um, or people watching who don't know. This right here is for generations of WPTV. Uh, class, Schaefer, your class of 2021. 2021. 2022, mm -hmm. 2023, 2024. Um, and now you both work at News 12 together. Yeah. So. It's like full circle. Yeah, There's which is trend. interesting. Cause, uh, Isabel and I uh, would like to have a discussion with the both of you. Indeed. About some things. Right, uh, TV club, we were all a part of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All on the e-board, yes. right? The technical services window, oh, TSW, shout what, out Rob Meyer. godly place. Indeed, love that place. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> love Rob. Um, <laughs> we all, you know, work there. I just feel like it would only be fitting if News 12 was um, hiring. Mm. Yes. So and that we could all work at News 12 as well. Okay. Any, remar any regards, any remarks? Um, our people will call your people. Okay, I'll be we sure to tell my people. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> uh, as Go of right on. now, I'd, I would just like to say we only have one spot available, so oh. I don't know. I mean, it's Black History Month. 
<laughs> I know that's right. Damn, but next month's Women's yeah, History Month. <laughs> no, first of all, thank you both for being here because this happened like on a whim. Um, I'm excited because this, like, I always, and I, I don't want to be like the corny guy, but like these alumni stories of like people like you two who did Brave New Radio or WPTV or like SFA or anything here and then now we're going on to do great things and now the both of you are like working together. Schaefer, you've been at News 12 how long now? Uh, this would be a year and a half. Okay. Yeah. And Alyssa, how long? For? Like literally three months. <laughs> I'm so like, I'm still very new. He's actually training me. He trained me this morning. That's accomplishments. Yes. How, what is, can you talk about like that experience? Like what that is like? Because you, from what you've told me, we talk mm -hmm. yeah. like every now and then. Mm -hmm. um, what is the experience going from like everything that you've done here to like News 12? Because it's much different, right? The lingo, like what Al taught us. Mm -hmm. Shout out Al Clark. Shout out Al Clark. Shout out Al Clark. Definitely has been useful. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like, oh, I learned oh, this yeah. in like I learned this in class. Like I remember Al saying this, but like, I guess the operation in itself, we don't have like a manual like switcher, oh. and like a separate director and a separate TD. Like we're all in one. We're graphics. We're audio. We're director TD. What Do else? you concur? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. what it's else? more. It's more about. Yeah. You jealous? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm out of here in four months, so. Well, I don't know. Apparently, you're on board next for that slot. So. Yeah, man. No, that'd be great. Um, you're both directors for yeah. News 12. Um, I remember, like, well, how did the position come about? Like, for you, was like News your thing, or like, what was the? Uh, I. I mean, I did practicum as the class that was offered on Tuesdays, yeah. and I enjoyed it. And. Uh, Kurt Siegland, well, I took both sides. I took editorial tech. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he reached out to me and he said, "Look, we got a spot. You know, mm -hmm. I, no guarantees, but you know, I would apply. You were great in the control room." So I was like, "Thanks." And then, I don't. I'm, you tell your story because I'm just <laughs> okay. so engulfed in your story. You okay, tell me. that's like, like not to that's take away exactly from Shay Shay. is a beautiful man. A like, beautiful last time man. I saw you, you didn't have a beard, so I'm very much. I'm very. I know. This is great. Mm -hmm. Folks, folks, yeah. I they had to. They, the she's between us because they had to keep me away from you. Oh. <laughs> wow. I don't know how to I don't know how to respond to that. Okay, <laughs> you're blushing. I see it. Okay, Maybe no, I you what, had to do saying? twelve. Oh, well, exactly. Kind of like with Schaefer, I reached out to Kurt Siegel and I was like, hey, like, I, I was like struggling. Like mm -hmm. it was like kind of like dry for a couple months, and I emailed him. He's like, listen, like here's a number of you know the manager or whatever. Hit him up, and then I sent him an email. Then months later, I was like chilling in my pajamas watching a movie, and I get this random call, and something told me to to answer and I was like, okay. And right on the spot, he interviewed me. He's like, okay, like what's your experience? Come in next week to the studio. And that's kind of how it happened. I love that. Do y'all yeah. miss being here? Yeah. You were both here in like weird periods of time. You were here, you were, so, and I, we're all generations of e-board, but like, I'm the president, Alyssa's, uh, Isabel's the secretary. You were the secretary, Schaefer, you were the president. Mm -hmm. So like, woo, we made, we did something right. Do y'all yeah. miss, <laughs> but y'all were both here in like, COVID heavy like era. More so him. You were here, you were present two years, right? Two years, yeah. What, 20... was, what was that experience like? It was very stressful. The, definitely towards the tail end, because it just- You got robbed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I just- I said that very way. glee, like full of glee, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> you got robbed, sucker. <laughs> yeah, sorry. you don't have automation, huh? Yeah, exactly, stay Ooh. quiet over there. So anyways, um, you know, we- uh, Well, all right. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> no you're good. You're I, good. I, I, I had to lay out the, the good. grounds here. You're good. Nah, but uh, we we had a lot of people just drop out on us when COVID hit. It's just it's tough to to get people mm -hmm. back, especially after such a hard time. But you know, aside from my personal time and here in the studio, it's just you, I got the full experience as much as I could when I was in person. And that's no, what, you got robbed. You got robbed. Yeah, I mean, yes or no. I mean, I, I I spent a lot of time here. That's why I, I always tell everybody just get involved and and be there a lot. I need to know. Well, do you I, do either of you miss it here, or you're just like, eh? you can be honest. I'm, I mean, a thousand percent. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Appreciate yeah, that, true. man. Um, do you have the? I need to know like crazy memories. Something crazy, whether it's something good, bad, that both of you have had here. Think long and hard. Uh, a couple happened on this stage, so off you camera. Said, you said what? Oh. Okay, on this stage, off camera. Oh. Fed. Oh, okay. I mean, you went straight to the gutter. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm talking I mean, like. Hey, man. But we had fun. We had fun uh, party games, and uh, if you if you look up at some of these tiles, they have some memories of of. Uh, there might be something? some balls up there, and there might be some writing, some some old <laughs> oh, panels, no. foam balls. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, you <laughs> clarified on your own. I did, yeah. Because uh, your mind was always going to the gutter. No, it's not, it's not like me at all. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not like me at all. It's lies. You? Um, I would have to say Bravathon was the most exciting but most stressful day of my life. Yeah? Yes. Um, you got robbed of, well, no, you had a Bravathon, just not, like, you weren't president Bravathon. Yeah. We're going to give you a Bravathon. Really? And we're going to give you, and it's, <laughs> I'm going to give it to you. Just for me for 15 hours? Yeah. Well, it's 11 <laughs> 15. now. Oh, it's 11? It's 11 oh, now, yeah. They so. slacking now. Mm. Yeah. Um, do you remember, and I'm going to, real quick before we get out of here, do you remember right, about right there, I walked up to you, and I said, hey, my name is, uh, probably said Devontae at the time, I really want to do a late night show. Um, and then you called Al over, and Al, would, I, he hates when I tell this story. I always say that he said no, but what he said was like, eh, it's a lot of work, uh, you're a black kid, we'll see. Um, but, no, but do you remember that, that did happen, though? Up until the black oh, yeah, part? Yeah, yeah. I remember. Well, you helped like, manifest this shit. I always tell people uh, this story. This is you. I, um, I'm not taking granted I'm credit. following in your, you, because you're like one of the kindest souls on earth, Thanks. and you, like always, you never said like, no, take that out. And you always was like, oh, you know, we'll, we'll push towards it, we'll work toward it. And then like you and your persistence in, in, in like the Zoom meetings were like, you know, we'll get back here. And now I'm doing it because of Schaefer Johnston and Alyssa Figueroa. And now Ooh. I hope that I kissed your asses enough that I'll get that job at News 12. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's the, that's the lead up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Did it work? Well, now that you said that, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> well, honesty is my policy. Uh, Alyssa Figueroa, Schaefer Johnston, thank you both for coming back. You're amazing. Uh, come back anytime. You're here every week. Basically. <laughs> come back anytime, Shay Shay. I want to thank Alyssa <laughs> Figueroa, Schaefer Johnston, Hubba Sedman, Justice Greg, Jimmy Patton, Andy Quinn, Valerie Rango, Nick Wilkerson, and of course, Al Clark and the entire crew. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Until then, that's our show. Good night, everybody. Woo! <laughs>